No, we don't need to. Yeah, we don't need to. Now, after all that we've explained today, all nine battleships being set ablaze, badly damaged, or sunk, at the end of the day, on December 7, 1941, 21 of our ships had either gone down were set ablaze or badly damaged. Of those 21, eighteen were returned to active duty. Our battleships in 90 days were back at sea. The United States resolved and the unification of our nation brought about the largest industrial revolution in American history. Where most of our men immediately signed up for military duty in the Army, the Army Air Corps, the Navy, the Marines. They went out to fight a war on the Atlantic and Pacific theaters simultaneously. Leaving Rosie the Rizzler and our great aunts to build the ships, the tanks, the planes, to make the bullets that provided our men with the opportunity of surviving through the war. Amen. Gentlemen, when you return home, make sure to thank mom and grandma for a job well done. Hi, can you ask your uh, grandpa for a take two on that? <laughs> so As we return to the visitor center, let me say that of the 2,390 casualties, actually, my name is Grandpa the Sailor Boy. On seven <laughs> <laughs> targets directly in line for the Japanese and sadly the 44 were killed by friendly fire. Our young men did not have the opportunity to properly arm or fuse their weapons simply throw it back to the best of their ability and what they had available. This resulted in some misses that showed that opening <laughs> drops in and around the downtown Rumble area. On the memorial itself, as I mentioned, we have 1,177 casualties. However, 2,390 people lost their lives that day. Those of you that have the time, the other 1,213 are proudly listed in our remembrance circle. Please feel free to visit it at your convenience. It is located along the waterside. You'll see a full circle area with blue tile going halfway around. As you look upon the names of the as you look upon the names that are listed, it is set up by base, activity, or ship. You'll see quite a few lettering gold lettering. Those that you perceive in the gold lettering were recipients of the Medal of Honor. Now, 
if this mic will hold up for just a few more seconds. I'd like to acknowledge and thank the United States Navy for our transportation today around the <laughs> island. More importantly, I'd like to thank the young people that I have with me in the black slacks and khaki colored shirts who are active duty Navy personnel assigned to the USS Arizona Memorial Detachment. So please join me in giving them a round of Thank you. 